Hi, I'm Monster 1970. Today I'm going to be installing this Memphis Shades Batwing fairing on my 2007 Yamaha V Star 1300 Tour. Let's get started. Okay, let's get this box opened up. Memphis, Tennessee, made in the USA. Here is all the hardware for it. And this is the shade. I ordered it with the windshield. I'm not sure if they put the windshield on it or not. I don't see any other parts in here, so I presume that they did. Let's get this out of the way. No, they didn't. It's separate. Here's the windscreen that I ordered. Take a look at that. And here's a product manual. This is part number MEM7031. Let's get this out of the insulation. Or the packaging. This out the packaging. Wow, that looks really nice. The picture doesn't do it any justice. And tape inside of here. We have another bag of bolts. I think that would be the screws for this. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is for the fairing. Okay. this out of the way. Okay, let's open up this kit. This is the mounting kit for the Yamaha V-Star 1300 part number MEK1909. All these pieces appear to be polished aluminum. I'm going to cut these tools out because I'm getting tired of them. Let's Alice. There's some Allen wrenches. Look, they put a Ziploc bag in here. And he shrunk it. So that looks like it. Get that out of the way. Okay, let's take a look at the instructions. The improper installation of this kit and related components could result in serious injury or death. Hmm. Okay, looks like I gotta move some stuff out of the way. Let me get the fairing. Okay, here's the fairing. It says to attach the mounting plates to the bolts of the fairing with washers and acorn nuts provided. And it looks like goes this way. We're missing a washer. Memphis shades. Already off to a bad start. I'm gonna have to find a washer. I guess I'll put the other side on. install one of these washers that I found in here. Mm. He's wiped off too. Wipe this down. Okay, we got those installed. Locate and remove trim toppers located on the upper upper triple tree. Trim toppers? 
I think that they're saying there should be something up in here, a trim topper. I don't see it though. I'm going to move to the next step. Uh, cover the gas tank in the fender. 4 millimeter Allen wrench, remove the lower turn signal trim. I am using the tool, the Allen wrench that they provided, removing the turn signal cover assembly. Careful not to use, lose the bushing. Bushing? Not bushing. Also remove, you can see that piece I put it on. Oh, careful not to use, lose the bushings in this last one. Bushings are in here. Maybe this one, this is a longer Allen. Yep, that's it. It's needed a longer Allen. This must have been the bolt that they wanted me to remove. This is a 8 millimeter. This bracket bolt with the washer on this side, two washers on the back side. Bolt washer bracket, spacer, turn signal assembly, and then in. See that there is a bolt down here. I think I can remove. I'll loosen up so I can get that moved over. Let's see if that'll allow me to move this up far enough down. Okay, that did allow me to get that started. Without loosening that up, that would have been a definite problem. <clears throat> that one's tight. Again, this is an 8 millimeter, unless they changed it. It's an 8 millimeter. Make sure that wire's back in there. I'm going to take this bolt out. Okay. Turn that out of the way. Tighten this back up. Make sure it's not hitting anything. Washer. Washer. These are cupped. Well, they're not really cupped. They're curved on one side, flat on the other. 
Looks like I put the original bolt back in everywhere that it wasn't supposed to. Let's take this out. Tighten up the bottom one again. Okay, there's those two. Bolt washer. Bracket. Spacer. Turn signal assembly. Tighten this one down. There we go. So we have the bolt up here, washer, bracket, two washers underneath. Down here, bolt, washer, spa or, uh, spacer, turn signal. Washer, bracket, washer, washer, bolt, washer, spacer, turn signal bracket. Next step is to slide this on there. Slide the fairing on. So I'm going to install her without tightening. forward and up. Yep. So that seems like it'll work. I'm going to tighten these down. Okay. Let's see if I can slide her back on the bike. Okay. I'm going to hook this back up in here. Issues. This gives you a little bit of room. That's better. And then lock this one in place. There we go. Okay, my spoiler. I'm going to install. like that. I'm going to get a washer, a nut on the top, washer and bolt on the bottom. Now you don't have to go crazy on it. it. Looks pretty good. I have to install this turn signal cover back on. Okay, move all this other hardware out of the way. Nick gets cover off. Let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, that's nice. This is a six and a half inch spoiler. I'm hoping that it just blows the wind right up over top of me. I like the way it looks. Side view of that. See the quick touch right down here. And here's the other side. That's the quick tack the quick touch bracket. 
Throttle works nice. Wants to turn on me. So that was installing the Memphis Shade Batwing Fairing with the six and a half inch spoiler on my 2007 Yamaha V Star 1300 Tour. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe, and stay safe. Thanks for watching.